This session, we will review the concept of BOM in general and overview of the same in Microsoft Dynamics X 2012. So, the question is, what is BOM? In simple words, a bill of material is a list of all components and sub-assemblies needed to make a final product or finished good. BOM contains the description of component item and required quantity for each of the component. If one of the component in BOM is made from the subcomponents, then it is called as a sub-assembly or a sub-BOM. In process industries, the BOM is also known as the formula, recipe or ingredients list. Let us try to understand BOM with an example of bicycle. This picture of bicycle gives us an overview of the different parts or components bicycle is made up from. In order to assemble the bicycle, we need wheels, handlebar, pedals and frame. Again, in order to manufacture wheels, we need tire, tire wall and spoke. We need all these components in a specific quantities to assemble the bicycle. For example, two pieces of wheel, one front and one rear wheels, two pieces of pedals, one piece of frame and so on. Each component in a bomb is called as a bomb line. This is how the bicycle bomb hierarchy looks like. Finished good is the bicycle which is made up from wheel, handlebar, pedal, frame, saddle and chain assembly. Wheel is again made up from tire wall, tire and spokes. Tire wall is made up from bolt, nut and cap. Notice that BOM also specifies the quantity in which each of these components are required. For example, two pieces of wheels, two pieces of pedals, one piece of handlebar and so on. Each item that must be financially accounted for in an inventory or in the costing phase must be included in the BOM. The level of detail for this is determined by the company's production and accounting needs. For example, items such as nuts, bolts, screws and nails are frequently not included in bombs because the cost of tracking these items are higher than their actual values. Let us understand what is the sub bomb. In simple words, sub bomb is a bomb within the bomb. When a bomb contains another bomb as its components, then it is known as a multi-level bomb or a bomb with a sub bomb. For example, in case of bicycle bomb, Wheel is again made up of tire, tire wall and spokes and hence wheel is called as a sub bomb or sub assembly. Again, tire wall is made up from bolt, nut and cap hence tire wall is called as a sub bomb to wheel. There are two sub bombs as such we have wheel and tire wall. Sub bomb items can be independently sold, track, produce or purchase. Let us review another important concept and that is about bomb levels. Components in the bomb hierarchy are classified using the bomb level. Finished good is always at the level 0. Taking an example of bicycle bomb, bicycle being the finished good, it is considered at bomb level 0. Bicycle is made up from wheel, handlebars, pedals and frame and these components are considered to be at the level 1. Wheel is made up from subcomponents like tire, tire wall and spoke which are considered as level 2 components. Again tire wall is made up from bolt, nut and cap and these components are considered as level 3 components. Bombs can consist of as many levels as necessary depending on the type of product being produced. In this case, wheel is the sub bomb at bomb level 1 and tire wall is the sub bomb at level 2. Let us understand the concept of bomb line types. Each component in a bomb is either manufactured or purchased from a vendor. It is also referred as make or buy decision. Bomb line type along with the default order type determines whether component will be manufactured or purchased. Ideally, sub bomb is manufactured or assembled in house while all the raw material components are purchased from the vendor. But as we understood earlier, sub bomb can also be purchased from the vendor directly. There are four bomb line types. Let us understand them briefly. Default order type determines whether item will be purchased or produced along with the bomb line types. There are mainly two types of default order, purchase and production. There are four bomb line types, item, vendor, pack supply and phantom. Notice that default order type is not relevant for the phantom type bomb line type. Whereas bomb line type of pack supply is used for the make to order scenario 
Make to order means we produce or purchase the goods for a specific customer order only. Do not worry about it now because we will review the line types in details in a different video tutorials but objective now is to understand that BOM line type along with default order type determines whether component will be produced or purchased. Let us understand with a couple of examples. Let us say for a particular sub BOM in a BOM, default order type is set to production and BOM line type is set to item. What does this mean? This means that item will be manufactured in house. Default order type says that item should be manufactured and bomb line type of item says that it should be manufactured in house. Let us review another example. Let us say for a particular sub bomb in a bomb, default order type is set to production and bomb line type is set to vendor. What does this mean? This means that item will be manufactured by vendor. Default order type says that item should be manufactured and bomb line type of vendor says that this should be manufactured by vendor and not in house. We hope that now concept of bomb line types is clear. Even if it is not clear, do not worry, we will understand it in details in a separate video series. Let us understand the last but not the least concept and that is the bomb version. If product is assembled or manufactured in a different way, for example using the different component items, then we can create a different bomb versions which refers to a different configuration of bomb components. For example, we have a certain customers who purchase the bicycle with medium sized tire and we have a certain customer who purchase the bicycle with small size tire. Then we can create a two bomb versions, one using the medium sized tire and one using the small size tire. We can create a bomb independent of item and we have to set up a reference between the bomb item and the bomb. For this purpose the bomb version is used. Bomb version is a specific configuration of a bill of material to include an item. An unlimited number of bomb versions can be created and attached to an item. An item can have several active bomb versions attached to it as long as different dates, sites, product dimensions or quantity intervals are defined for each of this version. Various bomb versions can be created to serve the different purpose. For example, if we want to phase out any bomb component and replace it with the new component, instead of creating a new product, new bomb version can be created. Another example could be a site specific bomb version. Company operates in a multiple geographical areas. Product can be customized to meet the popularity of particular geographical area. In other words, same product can be assembled or manufactured using the different components based on the preference of the geographical area. In Microsoft Dynamics X, site represents the geographical area and we can define the site specific bomb version. For now, you can just remember that bomb versions can be created to offer the different configuration or variant of the products. We will review bomb versions in more details in a different video tutorials. BOM in Microsoft Dynamics X is defined in a tabular form. Before we conclude this session, let us review the tabular form of our bicycle BOM. BOM bicycle is made up from wheels, handlebar, pedals and so on. Let us review the four important columns of the tabular form. First is the BOM position. BOM position in a table defines the sequence in which BOM components are specified in a BOM. Then BOM component. BOM component is often a product or a item code and description of the product. Quantity specifies the quantity of each of the bomb component required and unit of measure specifies in which unit of measure quantities are required. Here wheel is a sub bomb and which is made up from the tire valve, tire and spokes and tire valve is made up from bolt, nut and cap. We hope that you got a better idea about what is a bomb, sub bomb, bomb levels, bomb line types and bomb version. Thank you, thank you for watching this video.